Hey guys, Eric the Tech Guru here, and today I want to talk to you about backing up your data. So really there are three places that you should keep your important data. The first place is on your local machine or your computer's internal hard drive. The second place is on an external hard drive or a local backup. And the third place is on the cloud or a cloud backup. So what does all of that mean? Well, the first place on your local machine or an internal disk, that is the hard drive that your computer has inside of it. So if you're working in Microsoft Word or Pages, documents will automatically be saved to the local disk. So you don't have to worry about making an extra copy on the local disk. The pros of saving to your local disk is that you have super fast data access speeds, which means that saving and loading documents happens really fast. The cons of saving to your local disk are that there's only one copy, and if a computer crashes and the files are unrecoverable, you've got some serious problems. So what if my computer crashes? How do I prevent data loss? Well, your second option is a local backup on an external disk. Now these are external hard drives that you can buy at the store and plug into your computer via USB or connect to over your network. These disks work as operating outside of your computer as other hard drives that you can write to. This way, the files don't exist only on your computer, but also on this external hard drive. So you can move them between two different computers using the external hard drive, and you can access them from any computer that you can plug it into. The cons of using an external hard drive is that the data access speeds are much slower than on an internal drive. This means that if you're writing or accessing files that are on an external hard drive, it's not going to work as quickly as if it were on your local machine. Also, these external hard drives can be pretty bulky, and if you get a small one, they can be easily lost. I'll link to some external hard drives that you can get in the description below. Okay, so now I have two backups that are in my room, but what happens if my house burns down? Well, that's where cloud backup comes in. Now, a cloud server is really just a server that is somewhere you don't really know. It's called the cloud. Most of them are in Texas because there's a lot of space, a lot of energy, and a lot of people to run these data centers. Some common cloud storage services you may have heard of include Google Drive, Microsoft SkyDrive, and Dropbox, as well as many others. All you have to do is make an account and download the client from the website. That way, it'll create a folder on your local machine, and any documents you save into that folder will be synced with the cloud automatically. Most cloud storage solutions have a free tier where you get a specific amount of storage, relatively small, to store all of your information for free. On Google Drive, you can get 15 gigabytes of storage for free at no cost to you, and it will never cost anything if you're only using 15 gigabytes of space. This folder that you installed on your computer will also automatically download any files from your cloud drive that you may put up there from other devices. So say you upload pictures from your phone to your cloud drive. Those pictures will automatically download onto your computer if you have the application installed. That means there's no need to sync or manually move those files from your phone to your computer. So what are the cons of a cloud drive? Well, with a cloud drive, you have the issue where all of your files are moving over your internet connection. That means that you are limited by those factors that limit your internet connection, as seen in my previous video. That could be your internet service provider's speeds, or however slow your network might be internally. Another con is that you have limited storage on your account, and that account is susceptible to attack. So say somebody were to try and hack your account. If they broke into it, they may be able to gain access to all of your files that you stored there. So always be very careful with the passwords you pick for cloud drive storage. Also, if you can, make sure to set up two-factor authentication so that nobody can access the account unless they have the right token. All right, Eric, so we've heard all these options. Now, what do you do personally? Well, for me, I use all three. For any of my files, I have them stored on my local machine right here. For any important files, such as application settings or any kinds of documents I need, I'll store them on an external hard drive that I have. For the most important files, my school documents or any kind of legal documents, I host those on Google Drive because I never have to worry about 
the security of my files since my Google account has two-factor authentication. Alright everybody, thanks for watching. That's all. Remember, give this video a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you liked or disliked it. If you have feelings more complicated than that, feel free to leave them in the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you want to see more content like this, hit that subscribe button. Alright everybody, that's it for today. See you next time. Eric the Tech Guru, signing off.